Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for September 30th. September 30th is the 273rd day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 274th in leap years with 92 days remaining to the end of the year. It's also the last day of the third quarter and the midway point of the second half of the year. Today's word is figurative. Figurative is an adjective that in reference to language means not literal, using figures of speech, metaphoric, rhetorical. Too many people exclaim something as literal when it is actually figurative. In reference to art, figurative means consisting of or forming human or animal figures, representational. I'd like to take a moment to mention that links to my research are included in the show notes. I ask you to go ahead and click that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with others. You can do that with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. Also, there's a link in the show notes to the This Day in History playlist. You can check out that playlist for other days in the series. I'll put it up in the cards also on YouTube. If, if you're watching on Vimeo, it'll just be in the show notes. With that, we're going to start with the birthday of the Persian mystic and poet Rumi, born September 30th, 1207. Henry IV was proclaimed King of England on September 30th, 1399. Spanish conquistador Hernando de Soto and his forces encountered fierce resistance on September 30th, 1541 from Tula natives as they entered the area that is now known as Western Arkansas. This is the birthday of German Baroque composer Johann Sebastiani, born September 30th, 1622. I've placed a link in the show notes to an example of his work, Nice Harmonies. He lived to the age of about 60 or 61. September 30th, 1791, saw the first performance of Mozart's opera, The Magic Flute, two months before his death. This is the birthday of William Wrigley, Jr., born September 30th, 1861. He founded the William Wrigley Jr. Company. I'm sure you've seen his products, <laughs> Wrigley Chewing Gum. In 1916, he bought a stake in the Chicago Cubs baseball team with a group of other investors. One of the other stakeholders in this group came upon difficult times and found it necessary to sell some of his stock, and Wrigley bought them. Eventually, he sold all of his Cubs stock to Wrigley, making Wrigley the largest stockholder and principal owner of the ball club. And as you might know, Wrigley Field in Chicago is named after him. Mr. Wrigley lived to the age of 70. This is the birthday of German physicist Hans Geiger, born September 30th, 1882. If the name Geiger seems familiar to you, you may have heard of the Geiger counter, which detects radiation. He's also known for other radiation-related devices, laws, and discoveries. He lived to the age of 62. The Appleton Edison Light Company began operations on September 30, 1882. This was Thomas Edison's first hydroelectric power plant. The final resting place of President William McKinley, the McKinley National Memorial, was dedicated in Canton, Ohio on September 30, 1907. This is the birthday of the velvet-voiced Johnny Mathis, born September 30th, 1935. He's recorded a number of songs. I've linked one of them in the show notes for you. Still alive, Mr. Mathis turns 85 in 2020. The Hoover Dam sits on the border between Arizona and Nevada. It was dedicated on September 30th, 1935. The League of Nations unanimously outlawed intentional bombings of civilian populations on September 30, 1938. NBC televised the first televised American football game on September 30, 1939. The 1947 World Series launched several firsts. The first to be televised, the first to include an African-American player, the first to exceed $2 million in receipts, the first to see a pinch hit home run, and the first to have six umpires on the field. Pakistan joined the United Nations on September 30, 1947. The U.S. Navy submarine USS Nautilus 
was commissioned as the world's first nuclear-powered vessel on September 30, 1954. This is the birthday of Polish singer-songwriter and record producer Basia, born September 30, 1954. I remember her from the 80s, although it looks like she hasn't quite retired just yet. I've placed a link in the show notes for you to one of her songs. Baja turns 66 in 2020. On September 30th, 1962, James Meredith defied racial segregation rules when he entered the University of Mississippi. Boeing 747 was introduced to the public for the first time on September 30th, 1968. A severe earthquake in India on September 30th, 1993 a 6.2 magnitude quake at Maharashtra, India, killing nearly 10,000 people and injuring tens of thousands more. Japan's second worst nuclear accident occurred at Tokiomira, Japan on September 30, 1999. Yet another severe earthquake on September 30th, this time just off the coast of Sumatra, and this one in 2009, killing over a thousand people. And still hurricane season on September 30th, 2009, Hurricane Matthew became a Category 5 hurricane, making it the strongest hurricane to form in the Caribbean since 2007. And I think that's going to do it for us today. I hope you learned something you didn't know before. I know I sure did. I always do. (laughs) As always, links to my research are included in the show notes. If you enjoyed this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos, also in the show notes and in the iCards on YouTube. If you're watching on Vimeo, it'll just be in the show notes. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with others. You can do that with the link in your email, messaging, or social media. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. series. <laughs> okay, just leave that part out. That sounds like a pretty ambitious project. I made a typo and I don't know what it's supposed to say. Maybe I need a coffee. Not the first day, but the birthday. I guess the birthday is the first day. This is what happens when you don't clean up your script. <laughs> I might leave that part out. (laughs) I don't know how all that's gonna go together or if it's even gonna make it to the video. We'll just see. That's not gonna go. Yeah, we're gonna cut those out. That'll all be laying on the cutting room floor. (laughs) So I'll just do that whole thing over. (laughs) That might not make it into the video, we'll see. Changing it up.